What's going on guys? Thank you for tuning into this episode of Twin Finance. My name is Jackson. Today we're going to talk about three beginner mistakes that investors make. And I'll just hop right into it. Number one. Wait, uh, hold on. Waiting for the crash. This is the first one. We'll put this one number one. Waiting for a crash. So what I mean by this, guys, is like, you know, you always read in those books, like you, you pick up a beginning in, beginner investor book and it's like, guys, think about it. If stocks are going down huge, it's the best time to buy. For example, if you bought in at this point eight years ago, you'd be up 400% right now. And like, obviously that all seems fine and dandy. Yeah, man, all I, bro, investing's easy. All I got to do is wait till the stock market crashes, throw all my money in. I'm a genius. But like, really, it's not that simple, guys. Like it, people think, you know, oh, crash, crash, crash. Well, for example, like we've been in a, bear, a bull market for 10 years now. What if someone was waiting for the crash in the fifth year? Oh, I'm waiting for that crash, boys. I'm gonna invest when the crash comes. You still be waiting today. So now you just lost out on all those investment gains and you're waiting for the crash though. That's a beginner mistake. If you are a good investor, you're good, say you're a stock picker, a value stock picker, growth stock, whatever you do, there's always money to be made at the current moment. Obviously, it's better to funnel money in, yes, when the market's crashing, because then, yeah, when the market returns, you're going to be up a lot, but we can't time the market. You're never going to be a call. Dow's crashing on Sunday. I mean, uh, off hours trading, Dow's crashing. Like, no, it doesn't work that way, right? So, like, obviously, this is a mistake that probably a lot of people make, and all you need to do is just have a good strategy. Go use that strategy. doesn't matter. Unless the market's in full-blown crash, you're, you can get some return out of the market, even if it's flat. I'm not trying to brag, but the market has been pretty damn flat. I think it's like just dead even almost over the last six months. You know, like I found some return in the market. So I'm just saying don't sit around waiting for the crash. Get in there. The, the more time you have in the market, the better, guys. Okay, so the second mistake that people make is buy, sell, buy slash sell on emotion. So, okay. So what I mean by this is, say, for example, you owned... Um, I don't know. I won't pick a company. Just say you own a company. I won't say a specific company, but say you own a company and a competitor posts good earnings. So everybody floods money to that competitor and your stock flusters for like a few, like a few weeks. And now you're like, wow, this company's taking over the market. Like, uh, for example, Amazon guys, like eBay's still around. eBay's still a good company. I Amazon's sick. Yeah. But eBay's still good. You know, a lot of people probably sold eBay cause they're like, wow, Amazon's going to just kill everything. Right eBay is still around. They're still a good company. They're not saying they're a buy right now. I didn't really analyze them, but I'm just saying they're still a good company. You don't get too emotionally involved in the hype of other companies and let that um, sway your investment decisions. Still go through your thorough analysis of every com every company, every fund that you want to buy, and don't just buy it because like, oh, it went up 10% uh, in two months. Buy. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm hype. I can get 20. So just stay away from emotions, guys. You got to keep it between the numbers. You got to let the emotions out of it. Keep it between the numbers and understand that it's emotions long term are only going to hurt. you. So then this leaves us with our, la our third and final mistake. And that's buy. No, not buy. Just sell. Sell before dividend date. And this is a simple, a simple mistake that probably goes uh, really unnoticed, guys. Say, for example, you know, your company, it's been doing bad or even say your company went up a lot and you're like, OK, now it's unfair price. I want to sell and get out of there. I want to find another buy to use this money in. I don't want this five thousand dollars in that company sit around and in, in, uh, in, in just at that price. You know, I want to sell. I want to buy another company. Well, if the dividend dates tomorrow, guys, you just let it sit for one more day, get your dividend and then sell, right? Like say you get $150 dividend and it's in two days. Well, just wait the two days. Like the price probably isn't going to fluctuate that percentage point, that few percentage points in in a, in a, in a day or two, right? So like it, just be aware of your dividend dates, guys. When you own the stock, after you buy it, you do your research and everything. So you, you know the stock's a good stock you buy it. But then once you own the stock, guys, be a good owner of the company. You're now a part owner. You should know when dividend dates are, when earnings releases are and stuff like that. Keep up with your stocks. That's how you, you become a good investor over the long haul. You want to put in those hours even after you buy the stock. You don't want to just buy it and then, okay, let it sit forever and never look at it. I know sometimes in books and stuff like that, they say you should have a portfolio you never have to look at ever. No, I think that's baloney, guys. If you're a good investor and you like it, 
uh, you should take pride in and keeping up on all your companies that you own. So these are basically the three mistakes that I could think of that beginners would make. Not even just beginners, investors as a whole would probably, they probably these mistakes are made often, guys. So just uh, if you have any other common mistakes, you know, you want to drop them in the comment section below. Um, share some of your experiences or whatnot. I'd be glad to hear. Uh, I hope you grab value from this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.